Yo, what's going on guys it's me Manti and in this video I want to show you how to play a Royal Trials event games when a modifier gift is in the play this is the deck that I'm playing I didn't lose a single game hopefully I will show you all the wins uh, but for you to understand there might be loses here and there but it is a free a deck that wins most of the games like 90 95 percent of the games it is sharpshooter as a main dps a um, chemist for the armor penetration for flicker bombardier to stun the monsters to keep them in one place for the flicker ability a summoner just for the extra merge ranks and trapper for the traps of course as for the equipment as you can see uh, i'm running bow i'm running uh, amulet of swiftness all techno and of course I'm running mage ropes, uh, to think about it I could run forest faction on mage ropes because I have two units but also I have three techno units and uh, so it is much better. Uh, so yeah I will try to explain you how to play it, how to win with this and what's the win condition with this deck. So let's jump into the game. Alright, and just a little bonus for you guys, <clears throat> if you are before the update and you didn't update uh, your devices yet, I would highly, highly recommend using your uh, experiment coins if you want orbs, just because after the update experiments are um, being uh, basically removed from the experiments uh, and it's going to be only uh, for the event units that moves from the event to the general pool. Uh, so I would highly recommend if you want orbs then do it now before the update and uh, we are gonna do it just now uh, because I don't need any event units and I want orbs uh, so yeah let's roll some experiments yeah riding hood doesn't matter for me uh, fail <clears throat> okay robot I'm just gonna check if also every every unit from event is there right or am I no Bard is not there okay all right so I quickly checked and it's every legendary you yeah, no wait Bard is there so why why is there Bart here if Bart is there? Wait no wait 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 Bart is not there. But C Doc is there. The Spirit Master is there. So there is no Gunslinger. There is no Trent. And uh, something else. But okay. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. We roll again. It was a fail. And we got again a riding hook. Doesn't ma mean anything. If I don't get orb, uh, it's 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 not nothing interesting for me. Genie, mm -hmm. okay. It's fine for you guys because you can get the event units, but I, I just don't need them. I need orbs. Probably at least one orb will be there. Come on, success? No. Forty percent, no success. All right. All right, one orb. I'm already happy. Uh, 540 coins and one orb. And it's it's fine because I don't need uh, experiment coins for anything else. So yeah, uh, do this before the update and uh, get your orbs now uh, because they will be removed from the experiments. All right, and we are in the game. As you can see, uh, we have that meat tile. Whatever, uh, whenever we move our flicker into the tile, then you have a two two stacks on your um on your flicker and you pretty much want to move him on cooldown and there is a little trick that i will show you in just a few seconds and that you can reset those six seconds with your ability uh, so basically you gather all these stacks uh whenever you can you move your flicker uh, to optimize it and to get as many stacks as possible and you do it pretty much uh, until wave 4, then you set up your flicker uh, around your bombardiers to keep them as uh, as close to the gate as possible um, because uh, the, the pools, whatever it is that flicker throws, 
uh, will deal damage to all of the units. Um, but I will show you that in uh, around wave 4. So that's the trick. You move your flicker, you move your ability, cooldown goes off and you can move your flicker again. So it takes around 2 seconds to move him again. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna move him. Uh, on cooldown as you can see I already have 16 stacks uh, to get around 16 20 stacks in uh, wave one it's pretty or already pretty good uh, sometimes you get unlucky sometimes you get less so don't worry about it uh, it's not all about uh, getting uh, so many stacks it's more about the setup all right so we are moving him let me drink my coffee As you can see, I'm not rushing any any mergers. I'm just gathering my mana, uh, and also I'm letting those um, those uh, gifts, those presents, uh, to be open because it's just extra merchant for me. Uh, unless I can merge it with summoner, uh, that it's uh, pretty much the same. You just get one more merchant. Alright, we are playing against Riding Hood, not sure, they didn't play against Riding Hood uh, in this modifier yet, so we'll see how it goes. For now we have 28 stacks, uh, we have still a half a wave and one more wave to go. I'm getting pretty pretty good amount of the flicker stacks. Now I merge here and there, uh, upgrade my units. Okay, my tile is over there. Sometimes it will throw you uh a curveball with the tile being on the other side but it's okay nothing to worry about and my strategy is to have around four or even five bombardiers to stun all of the monsters uh constantly and then uh merge outside so on these three tiles and these three tiles basically but i will show you that uh closer closer to the end of the game and of course one chemist just for the uh, armor penetration all right let's merge that we can merge that let's merge that all right so we are getting close to the wave four uh you want to have your setup uh, until armored monsters which uh occur on the wave five um just because yeah it's, it's just harder to kill them right all right, let's merge these trappers. We don't need them yet. All right, so one more tile. Is it gonna be somewhere close? Yep. All right. So we're gonna eat this one, and if next one is not in the middle, I'm gonna move my flicker in the middle tile where my summoner is. All right, so it's outside, so I don't even bother with that already. So I'm just gonna um, start eating my units. Alright, as you can see I kill it. Alright, that was a bit close, but that's that's fine. Um Alright. So let's start doing it and, and get my bombardiers around my around my flicker. Let's merge that, merge that, merge that. Uh we could actually eat this one and merge that. It's just additional merge rank for us. That's fine. Okay. And I also try to merge just to get a higher merge rank for these stacks. Uh, that's pretty simple if you think about it. I also try to get like one or two sharpshooters. If if you don't get it, it's also fine. All right, no problem. As you can see. All right. And the amount of the stacks are crazy because I'm already having 62 stacks. Uh, you can get much more if you're lucky with mergers. Sometimes you are not, so uh, don't worry about it. And see, I'm keeping the monsters near the gate, uh, so the flicker ability hits all of the monsters 
constantly so I don't worry about wave moving uh, too far away from the gate once it happens uh, the, the damage just drops right uh, so most of the players that play this uh, just don't understand it uh, how it works and it might be a problem for them later on all right so it's uh, tribunal of course it's going to hit us the key is to hit uh, to kill all the other units because tribunal is always gonna hit you no matter what so uh, you don't have to worry about it all right so you see that i have uh, lots and lots of mana so i don't worry about not having mana for summons and the bombardiers are really helping me as you can see it's just staying near the gate even though i don't deal enough damage my personal record for now is uh i think 250 million and i still kill the bosses at wave 7 uh, or wave 6 i don't remember uh exactly but i will try to do that nevertheless all right let's do that let's press the ability now all right as, as you can see bedlam is not a problem for us because yeah it will just turn our units uh, uh, pretty much the same that we wanted all right the riding hood is already surprising to me having quite a hard time of killing but uh, i'm positive that i can still win the game now now she started to struggle okay i might lose this one she's a surprise to me oh yeah i'm having a hard time of killing okay i didn't lose all right so i still have a chance to win just need to keep the monster stunned. All right, I might actually win this game. Nope, I don't think I can. Tribunal is gonna hit me first. Ah, that was a very close game. All right, let's jump into the next game. All right, and we are in the next game. Uh, Pretty unlucky the previous game, but the damage was 350 billion million for me and uh, almost 400 million uh, for the Riding Hood players. So uh, you can just imagine uh, the numbers, uh, the numbers that I see from my clan chat, from other players, and uh, that ask me what they should play. It's like 50 million, 100 million. So the numbers that I'm having here is nothing bad to be honest, even though I lost. As it's just a really good deck that you can play uh, if you don't know how to play other decks uh, I think 350 million for a deck that doesn't have uh, any DPS legendary unit uh, I'm only having Trapper as a legendary unit It's already pretty good score And so yeah, if you want to have fun with Flicker, if you want to play this deck, uh, I would highly recommend it And uh, there's nothing problematic with this deck um and it's also pretty fun it's it's something different right you don't have to play the, the same old decks all over again um so yeah and i think uh, that riding hood game was the first loss that i had uh, unfortunately it's in the video but it just shows that it's still possible uh, to lose that five ten percent of your games uh and it's okay you don't win 100 percent of the games please don't tell me oh you are showing me this deck but you lost like okay i can play genie fortuna and i was still gonna lose like it's just a game i'm not gonna win 100 percent of my games so hopefully you guys will understand that and i'm not here uh i know that many youtubers many uh many videos just show only the wins and and all that stuff i'm not here for that i think that it's it's fine and it's how it's supposed to be to show the loses too because from loses i personally learn even more from the wins 
and so that is uh, why I I will just show you the losses too um, because I just think that it's it's fine and yeah I don't I don't think uh, I should uh, uh, hide losses from you guys and and try to deceive you or whatever um, because it's fine like like I said you you will lose games sometimes and it's perfectly fine all right let's focus on this game though um wait let me let me merge this merge that all right that's really good uh, all right the tile is there let's merge that we'll have this one for the boss all right 24 stacks Where is it now? Alright. <laughs> Don't have any any good merges now, but that's still fine. One more wave to get some stacks. Let's upgrade our units. Uh, here. Alright. And it's puppeteer, so I probably saved the ability. Don't wanna don't want my units to be moved. And also, I think in the Riding Hood game, the reason I, why I lost was that when Bedlam flipped, uh, the Riding Hood player got pretty lucky with the outcome. So maybe that was also the reason why uh, the player could go up to even uh, 350, 400 million damage. All right, I'm gonna move my flicker uh, here. Let's upgrade units and then I'm gonna move him back to the middle and then start merging. Uh, start merging, yeah, start merging and eating with with, with, um, with Flicker. Also, Bart Jammers is a really solid choice too. So if you want to play Bart, I would recommend playing um, just that. See that, because I don't need that. All right, there goes my bombardier. First of many, hopefully. All right, another one. Nice, very nice. All right, let's see that. All right, another bombardier. Very good. Smash that. Alright, <clears throat> and we are gonna eat, uh, so activate the ability on the Bedlam. Alright, Armored Monsters. <clears throat> Let's see what the player can bring us. Alright. That we can eat because we have tier 4 here, it doesn't stack, so you just need one. As you see, he already struggles a bit, so that just shows how powerful this deck can be. Alright, let's hit this one since it's gonna lose its merge rank. Alright, it's uh, Grandmaster. Grandmaster can be painful for us. If it merges our bombardiers, yeah, that's still fine. You kill them pretty easy. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, I'm gonna merge it by accident, but uh, yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, so we lost two of our <clears throat> of our bombardiers should be should still be fine yeah he struggles a lot more than me so i just lost my chemist because of the virus they don't want to get virus uh, on all of my bombardiers so hopefully you guys understand it why i merged it or ate it whatever 
yeah but it's a win pretty easy win yeah all right i'll show you one more game all right and we have yet another bard game uh yeah bard is pretty popular in this variation not sure why but i tried it it's not so good uh i think i lost this game when i was trying the the bard um not accordion is bar drummer uh, i tried and it's uh, I, I don't know it's just not good in my opinion it's not that great as uh, for example the perfect riding hood game that we had or the um the flicker deck <clears throat> all right let's merge these because we can get some more stacks merge that and yeah, it's, you, you just see that it's pretty easy to play this deck. It's just move around your flicker, use your ability, uh, keep all the bombardiers, high merge ranks on your on your table, on your board, whatever. Um, and it's that simple. You don't have to focus so much with Riding Hood to, to keep all of your Riding Hoods in the wolf form or um, uh, to, to, to be bound by... Um, a sword or a knight statue to get all of the sword stacks in the bard decks or whatever uh it's pretty chill deck right you can play it on mobile you can play it on, on pc pretty easy you don't have to focus that much um so yeah I, that's why i like this deck uh i would highly recommend playing it like i said uh the damage is there uh the stuns are there to to keep them um near the gate uh, in the very close games the stuns and the slows from flicker from chopper uh from sharpshooter stuns from bombardier will always uh, be in your favor um so yeah only like five ten percent games are lost like i said it's it's i would say it's really good to play it um very high chance to win the games which you don't get with other decks. All right, let's focus on this game then. Get some merges. Can merge that. Uh, can merge that for now. But, oh, nice tier four is very good. Merge that. Oh, it's hoping for bombardier, but that's fine as well. Let's merge that. Merge that. Merge that and merge that. Okay, tier five. Tier five. The trapper is not bad at all. Right. Let's chill down with the merges because I'm running out of mana. All right. Let's use it for bedlam. One shot. One hundred forty thousand crit from a flicker just because I moved it right so it's 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 really recommended to use the either the move to get the, the stack or eat it eat the unit or use the ability uh, to main to, to be sure that you are gonna kill the most the, the boss smash that all right another here three um, bombardier so we have already two three of them high merge rank here let's try to get some more all right, this is to be eaten, of course. Uh, yeah, the stack is right over there, so I don't really want to move it. So I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna merge these now. All right, let's merge that, merge that. I can eat that and then merge that. Oh, it's hoping for bombardier, but that's fine as well. I'm pretty confident that we are gonna get one more over there. All right, let's move. Let's eat for the Gorgon. All right, I'm out of mana, so now I'm gonna chill for a second because I need to upgrade my units, and it's already way four. So I don't really want to uh, not have them uh, upgraded when the more armor monsters come. I can eat that. Alright, let's use this. 
Oh, you had to hit this guy. Unlucky. Now I need to summon one more unit. So let's eat that. Yeah, Bard is already struggling. As you see, Accordionis is just not good. Uh, if you want to play Bard, then I would highly recommend playing uh, Drummer. Drummer is just much better in the event games. Right, Virus. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold on because I don't want a virus to spread. Alright, yeah, I have to sacrifice this one, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because the virus is really, I think, the hardest, uh, the hardest to to to, to counter, uh, because you rely on those stunts. So, yeah. Right, can merge that. Can merge that. Yeah, that that tier three is really hurting me now. But that's fine. Um, he's already losing. No, oh. <laughs> it's really targeting my bombardiers. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, the player is gonna lose anyway. Yeah. So that's the game for you.